they're getting in the gate for the cool more turf mile here at keeneland feature event grade one race going a mile readers kept winning your end for the mile so we'll see what happens got a couple more to load here and then we are going to get off and rolling in here samich your top pick was who my top pick is Casa Creed. I, I was really impressed with the last effort. I like the fact that we're going a mile again here. I think the trip is going to be very, very good. And I'm going to go with the number 12 set piece for many of the same reasons. I think the trip is going to be there. I would not be surprised if the 9 and the 12 are kind of closing together here. And hopefully we get a hot pace, Samich. So we will see if our closers can get home here at decent prices. All right. They're in the gate for the Coolmore Turf Mile. And they're off. Here we go. And the 5... That's Mason. So Mason's yeah. out to the lead. 13 going out to lead a tone as well. It seems like they're they're kind of rolling early here. Yeah, it, it seems like it, but I, it's not the horses that you would have expected to be there. I mean, I thought someone like at Hot Brown was going to be more forwardly placed than what we're seeing here. I definitely agree. I, I'm really surprised that Mason got out to the lead. Five to one. Mason gets bet down hard in this race. 13's really tugging, wanting to go 23.58 here for this opener. That's not great for closers. No, it's not not wonderful. Some like at Hop Brown sitting there in third, the 10 horse, uh, the eight Annapolis sitting fairly close to the place, pace as well here, too. Yeah, set piece dead last. That's not good uh, for, for him at all here. Uh, where is Casa Creed? Is he about? I can't see him. There he Casa is. Casa Creed is, is by himself in sixth. Or yeah. Seventh. So it, within range, 46.6. They did kind of speed it up a little bit in that second quarter here. We'll see if anybody can kind of come from the back. Mason, I never would have dreamed would be on the lead in this race. Never. So he's got the trip. Yeah, especially going 46 and three. That that I would have thought that Mason would be going like 47, 48. Atone, by the way, at 46 to one, running a big one here. Atone's running a big one. The closers are starting to wind it up. Uh, it looks like set piece uh, saved a little bit of ground now to swing wide. Here comes Casa Creed. Come on, so Casa. Come on, Casa. Oh man, Annapolis just got through too. Here comes Casa Creed. Come here on, comes Casa. Annapolis. It's going to be a, a fight here for the finish. They're all coming strong. Annapolis has got it though. I think he is. I think Annapolis is home. And wow, he motored it home. Great race for Annapolis. It looks like, ooh, I don't know who got second. That's close. That was very close. The three was on the inside there, the uh, Order of Australia. Uh, and the outside was set piece. I'm not sure who was in the middle there. Was it Ivar? Magic saying. Yeah, Ivar. it was a six. I think it was Ivar. Yeah, very nice race from Annapolis. Man, he, he motored home. Um, Mason, I don't really think had any excuse there. Uh, kind of just gave it up. Boy, look at Annapolis. Great race from him. Yeah, three, nine, six, twelve. They're all kind of closing. Yep, it, it's. I think the three got second. It looks like it. Yeah, three, six. In order of Australia, third, I believe. No, I, I think it's uh, eight, three, six. Yep. I think good order of race. Australia got the place. Good race, really good race. Yeah, that was that was a fun one. And Annapolis, like we talked about this a little bit earlier, like. Is that horse that's improving right now? That and if this is one that that could be dangerous here in the mile, lost the nation's pride two back, but ran well. That was kind of the 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 first real step up into that grade one level stakes, and then runs well in the Saranac, and now we get a really nice effort here. I gotta say, it's just a perfect ride for my red too. Like just to be able to sit right behind the speed there, they didn't go really fast, and then was able to bully ball his way out uh, when the tone kind of backed up a little bit there around the or at the top of the lane. Yeah, there's no doubt. That was that was super impressive there for Annapolis. They got a really good trip and just kind of snuck right in there and got the job done. And you said it, really, really good ride for Irad, man. He he timed that one perfectly. Great job. Great job for Annapolis. Six to one winner. You know, we talked about him a little bit during the week. I just think, you know, uh, that that mile is perfect for him. You know, mile, mile 16th, I think that's perfect. He stretched out in the Saratoga Derby and got second. And I just think he kind of spun his wheels a little bit that last 16th because he didn't really want to go that far. Well, and this is a horse that, that we really like last year as a, as a two-year-old as well. So it's nice to see this horse kind of develop into this, this level of a horse. What do you think here versus modern games now? And was this impressive enough to, to kind of threaten modern games? No, I don't think so. A bit, just because I have a, the ultimate respect for modern games. I do think this horse might be the second or third choice now, but I, I can't go against modern games. I still think he's a bit better than uh, those horses today. Uh, I was really impressed by this effort. But I, I thought this was phenomenal. I mean, 133 and change, good time, ran a very smart race, a good like got a, got a good trip, but, but it was able to show tactical speed and then make that move. I don't know if modern games catch him today. If that, that race runs exactly the same way, gets that trip, and modern games is coming from the back, I'm not sure modern games is able to run down Annapolis. There were good horses in this race trying to run him down, and they were not able to. 
Now, none of them are modern games. Don't get me wrong. But that that would have been tough because modern games would have been b- further back, have to go wide, and Annapolis would have gotten that trip. It, it, there's there's a route for Annapolis to beat modern games. You're not wrong. He probably will get the jump on modern games. But, you know, Ivar, like I said, he hasn't won a race in a long time. Uh, Order of Australia third. I mean, that horse is pretty solid. But, you know, other than that big race uh, here in, in the 2020, it hasn't ran all that well. And set piece just got the set piece trip, you know, too far behind. Had to come wide. It's a broken record with that yep. horse. Yeah. I mean, that's part of the problem being a closer. Like you look at GoFo. Yep. I mean, like you're just going to be in trouble more than you're not because of the, the specific way the race is set up and play out. Yeah, I know. It's it's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. He kicked off his year, or I think maybe his second start of the season was at Penn National and he lost. <laughs> and now here he is winning a grade one against older horses. That's, um, that's pretty amazing. <clears throat> 